Okay, this is day 17 wrap up, and I'm I'm thinking of it as day four because it's like I it's four, three, two, one. I'm getting to the countdown now. So this is uh, rather than 17 to me in my mind, it's like day four. And I just knocked it out. And let's see, got up, I weighed the same, I'm on a weight plateau. I could attribute it to the condiments that I eat, you know. But then again, I've had this before where I get to a weight plateau. And that's okay. Um, I forget what I had to start. I didn't write it down. I didn't make anything special that I recall. I think I probably just had watermelon green juice. And... Um, uh, let's see, I, uh, all I remember is that later in the day I had bought stuff for Mean Green, it's Joe Cross's Mean Green recipe, which is kale, a head of kale, a lot of kale, head, a bunch of kale, uh, a cucumber, two apples, ginger, and a lemon. And I used my Omega Juicer, which is very good with greens, I must say, and, um, pulled it out and it, it juiced the kale great. I got a lot of kale juice, a lot of cucumber. I used it, oh, also celery, four, four stalks of celery. It's a lot of celery and it was very tasty with the apple and the ginger was, and the lemon it was very tasty. So I had that and then I, I wanted to, to juice up my carrot juice, which is pretty similar. It's just the main thing is carrots. And, um, that was tasty, but then I mixed them together, and that was really good. That's a winning combination. I have that in the fridge. I went over to Walmart and got um, tomatoes for tomato juice and a zucchini, and I made up a big thing of Bloody Mary mix, and I do love that. And it's probably because of the condiments. You know, I know it's because of the condiments. And I drank up a whole lot of that. And um, what else did I have? I had a, a zero ginger ale with uh, stevia and... Um, it's warm. It's getting warm here. And I today, what did I do? I did a laundry, and I, I did a lot of ironing. And I was very focused. My, my goal was to clean the bedroom, but I had to get the laundry done before I could really get that done. And I washed everything in my one set of drawers, my summer stuff, and I'm working on that. But the, the point of that is that I was very focused in activity, and that's good, because there's no point, you know, not being... <laughs> I did watch one food video. Darren McGrady was the chef to the royal family, and he made a lemon, some type of lemon, um, sort of an ice cream that he would make for the royal family, and it was heavy cream. But, you know, the funny thing is I like to watch him because I like him personally. He's very, he's very cheery, very fat, very fat. But um, it, when I saw, like, the heavy cream, I was like, eh. You know, sugar, eh. and, and that's good. You know that I that I that it, I actually have that response to that, which is it's a good thing. Um, let's see. Uh, where am I at? Didn't do any exercise, but oh yeah, I would know what I wanted to say. I have a friend who is she ha she has trouble keeping weight on, and and I I talked to her about like what's your experience like. Because she forgets to eat, and then she's afraid she's going to, like, starve to death. And, and it's like, how do you do that? And um, she, she just gets so engaged in her activity that she doesn't, she, she knows that she should eat, but she just can't stop doing the activity to take time to eat. She's also a person who sits down to eat, and she cooks real stuff. You know, like, not complicated, but you know, whole foods, and she sits, I, I, she does, she eats in her dining room, and, um, so there's a methodology there, I also listen to Jennifer Scott, Jennifer L. Scott, she's got the Daily Connoisseur, and she had a video on how formal living helps you stay slim, and she's kind of like the French lifestyle expert, she's American, I mean, she lives in the United States, but, um, she just talked about, you know, and this is from her original book about her experience living in France after college or maybe during college, um, that eating was a formal affair, that you sit down, you know, you're not snacking, and um, 
I need to remember that, you know, make it more of a formal affair as opposed to, um, you know, just kind of an ongoing process. But this is all to be seen in the future. Today, day four, all done. Oh, I went to, with Gary, I went to the Thai deli, which they have um, like stir fry. And he had a plate of stir fry and like curry and curried vegetables and rice. And it smelled so good. And I really, I'm really looking forward to being able to, to indulge in something like that in the future. But that's it for uh, day 17 and um, three more days, although he's counting. Really happy I did this, you know, still in the process and uh, look forward to, to uh, day three. Okay, that's it.